YouTube viewers, I am Sandal with 99. This is the Ginger Ninja. And over here is the Soul Catcher 1231. Don't say it. AKA. Uh, don't say it. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing, uh, quite possibly, the greatest movie of the summer. Yes. Uh, the or, greatest movie ever. Nine, possibly. It's, po it's possible. Uh, uh, no, v for talking, Vendetta. A runner up, at least. I'm Watchmen. We're talking about. Better than v for we're Vendetta. talking about I don't care Scott Pilgrim versus the world. <laughs> for all of you who hate it, you suck. Turn this video off right now. Fiery inferno no, death. continue watching. Okay. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Right now. Do it. Now. Hey, stop and let me explain okay, the Okay, sorry. <laughs> For those of you who have been living under a rock, the concept is uh, Michael Sarah plays... Sierra, I think. Michael who cares? Sarah. Michael Sarah plays a young man named Scott Pilgrim, who plays bass in a band, and he meets this amazing girl named Ramona Flowers, and they start going out, but in order to go out, he has to defeat her seven evil exes in Mortal Kombat. I love how and that was slowly Kombat. the world kind of becomes this comic book video <laughs> game <laughs> inspired <laughs> world. And it's just, Are you to say that? it's yeah. wonderful. We'll just, like, we'll just flag it as like, you need to be 18 to see this. Um, <coughs> <in language. laughs> Let's start with you. Um, I know you loved it. Just tell them how much you loved it. Nothing, there is literally Stop. nothing bad I could ever possibly imagine saying about this movie. There's nothing. If he says there's something, he's wrong. Everything um, about this yes. is perfect. What, what, what the battle, the this, fight this scenes kid right here is always wrong. Oh. <laughs> always. The fight oh, scene, well, 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 no, well no. It's like, the um, fight, what do you want? The, okay. the, the, the fight yeah, okay. scenes were absolutely amazing. Especially, they were. I really, really loved the very, very first one. Because he totally just kicked ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah was awesome. Like, he didn't... <laughs> He didn't even know what was going on, and he still totally just It, like, just jumped right, right into it. He just I kind of liked the, uh, the... He had a little, like, song with his weird flying demon chicks. Oh, yeah. That was kind oh, of the, the best thing ever. Kind of oh, scary. that... Yeah, that was another... That was, like, yeah. my second favorite fight. So, one of the major things is its aesthetic and stylistic value. Um, like I said, it's a comic book movie video game all combined at once. Yeah. And you really... You can't even describe it properly unless you watch it. And so I think when people when people see this movie, they're either going to buy if you buy into this world, this ridiculous over the top comic book video game world, you're going to love it and enjoy every single second of it. And if you don't buy into it, you're going to hate it and wish that you hadn't spent the money to buy the, buy or watch this movie. I don't think it's a hit or miss. Really people hate it. People no. I don't think any of you don't. Really hate it. I think that if people aren't really, I mean, if people wa don't want a surrealistic movie. People want something based in reality. They're not going to enjoy. Seriously, like, this movie was so good that before the movie even started, there was something they did at the beginning with, like, what is it, what is it called? It's like Universal Pictures or something? Oh, yeah. 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 With that planet, it was, it was like, all pixels pixelated. and everything. He, he literally went, <gasps> Oh, yes. Yes. immediately. <laughs> um, um, shortly after that, when the guy was playing Zelda, I was yeah. like, this I heard that me. song, and I just went, yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, in, what do you play? Oh, I play some Zelda. I was like, yeah. yeah but when, he, when he goes to the bathroom, when he goes to the bathroom, the Zelda song's playing. We're having troubles. What did the Zelda tune again? <laughs> what do you remember? What do you play? I play Zelda. Metro. No. <laughs> kind of a big question. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I play a lot of things. Um, I do have some complaints. Unfortunately, they're gonna hate me, but I have some complaints. <coughs> the first off is Michael Sarah. I do not enjoy Michael Sarah as an actor. This is you know what? Normally, I, sorry. Just normally, I would agree, but this movie, one movie I really, really love. <coughs> this is the only Michael no Sarah problem. movie I enjoyed. I don't know. His performances, they always seem he was, the same he was thing. A perfect character. Are you just violating that, that, that girl? That is he's true. Character I'm ball. sorry. He's a perfect character since he's so scrawny and small, you'd never think he'd be able to beat people like that. Yeah, but I just feel every single That's why movie this is a plays world. the exact same generic character, and it's bothering me every time I've seen him. Except, now this, and then this movie, they gave him the chance to play a character who's totally different, and he didn't. He didn't play it differently. He played it the yeah. exact same. And it disappointed me. It didn't ruin the movie Shy or kid. affect it overly, but it still bothered me and I was kind of disappointed in yeah, it. It was supposed to be like a cool, nerdy, confident, yeah, band going he, guy. He, he was like he Dylan Levitsky. I thought he did it pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> That's who he was, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I thought he did it pretty well. I don't think <coughs> he did it well. There were parts, there were he, parts he did like... really well, and then there were the moments where I'm like, you're slipping back into your generic, nerdy, scrawny. Super yeah. bad. Super yeah, bad. Super bad. Character. Are you violating that woman? Stop making I'm graphics. sorry, I love that line. Shut I apologize. Talking. I understand how good Scott, <laughs> Scott Pilgrim is. I understand. Stop. Yeah. The second thing I'd it. like to <laughs> compliment or comment on is oh, yeah. there's a part where one of the evil exes is defeated.
by being poked in the back of the <coughs> leg because apparently Why whenever you ruin that because no I have to I have to explain it because okay. it's bothered me so much. Right. Um, because apparently when they were going out with Ramona, Ramona always like touched the back of their leg whenever they were making out or something like that. I and know. I was like, that's the stupidest thing ever. Did, I think <coughs> it gave her, like, an orgasm or some shit. Yeah. yeah. And it, like, caused her to have an orgasm, and so she was like, oh, orgasm to death, and then turned into a <laughs> Okay. That was a little stupid, but still. This it was a girl? Stupid. Yes, it was. She has oh, an evil right. ex-girlfriend. She was by curious Okay, now you just ruined kind of <laughs> a big... It was kind of in the every oh, commercial. Yeah. yeah. So. Was it really? Yes, yeah. it was. Oh, okay, every right. single commercial. Yeah. Wait, you had a girlfriend? I yeah, I had a face, remember? You had a sexy face? But, um... If the one of the biggest reasons it bothered me is because there was no reference to it before. <coughs> he w she was like coming down to kick him in slow motion. What do I do? Poke the back of her leg. Well, how are they gonna Why? reference to that? What are they just gonna be walking down the street I one used day and to like poke her there when we were making out? Okay, poke. And I'm like, come, come on, the, uh, you could have worked it in <laughs> or rewritten, rewritten the entire that. thing so that. Okay, no. He defeated her in a normal way. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, or at least she made reference to it like previously. I going to reference something like that. I'm just going to be walking the street one day. By the way, I had a girlfriend who I poked in the knee when we you were know, making okay, Just has, saying, in case has, that ever comes up. He has that just first throwing thing. that out there. Are you done? <laughs> he has that first <laughs> encounter with her in the alleyway. After that, <coughs> if she's like, I don't know if she did one of those little backstory comic book things that she did with all the other exes and was like, Oh yeah, we always used to have these hot fashion makeup sections where I I'd okay poke her even in the back even if that that would kind of just bother me because I mean it still bother me because it's a stupid way to defeat her but it wouldn't bother me as much because it okay wouldn't but come you know what even nowhere. if she said even if she did have a back for the girl she's not gonna be like yeah we totally made out passionately and it was well then amazing. then that that and whole concept the need was to make flawed from the start. Just maybe, excellent. I thought you liked. It's probably one of the things directors tossed out at last second because it didn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, and they just they kind of I guess. But you know what, by that point, that point's like halfway through the movie, by that point, I was so, so much in love with that movie, it hardly affected me. Yeah. I, I, I had like five moments of, ooh, that was really stupid, the and only then I went back to love it. Actually, the only fights right, I, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't absolutely spot. love. Spock, 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 the, the only fights I didn't absolutely love were the ones with the, the, <coughs> the, the, the girl, who was mm -hmm. the poking the knee. Mm -hmm. Hers, because it just, like, it was... It was Ramona who fought was it, yeah, that was kind of weird. Like, it like, I can't hit a girl. Oh, I can't. And then she, like, grabbed I kind of, fists. I saw that like, coming yeah. as soon as I saw the girl appear for the first time in the movie. I knew he wasn't. He was going to be like, oh, I can't hit a girl. It was kind of, I, I didn't like, like that. Plus, plus, the one, yeah. plus the fact yeah. that they fought, the weapons they fought with, like a big freaking hammer and a I didn't mind crazy that. leather I like that. thing. I, I kind of thought it was cool. I didn't really. Like, I, I liked the I liked the, I liked the, the, oh, the yes, rope thing she had or whatever, the metal thing she had, like the whip. But I didn't like the big hammer. I thought it was stupid. Like, how the fuck do you keep that in a purse? It's I like it's supposed to be a joke. How do still. people turn into coins and get points? And Touché. Happens Touché. in the movie, too. Oh, I so thought it was just the game. I didn't, I didn't like the vegan fight. fight. I didn't like the I vegan like. fight because, and or the skateboarding fight because he beats them in a way that doesn't, like, it's just stupid. He doesn't technically beat them on his own. He has somebody else take care of him. <coughs> I think like, with the skateboard one, the guy it. takes care of himself. And the True. vegan one. He, he gets taken out by, well, I don't want to say anything, yeah, but he gets taken out by somebody else. Yeah, but, yeah, but they, play, they played this awesome bass drum on. Yeah, that one, that Unfortunately, was, that one's perfectly boss. fine, although it did bother me a little bit, well, no, not yeah, really, because, that but that, but those other two I didn't like because they weren't beaten by him. It kind of defeats the purpose of this whole defeating I, seven I, I evil think that was thing. I think that was done so that um, it, <coughs> it would break it up, so that it wasn't just kung fu fight, kung fu fight, kung fu fight. Yeah, fight. it would have got repetitive. True. It so. might have. We still would have loved it, but it was just. I appreciate trying to shake it up. Okay, we got nine minutes left. We got to score this. One movie. minute left. Oh, I'm sorry, one minute left. We're at nine minutes. We have one minute left. We got to score this. <coughs> the Soul Coaster 1231. Your score? 12. <laughs> uh, I'm not 11. joking. I'm giving it a 12 out of 10. Do not forget that. 12 out of 10. What is that in percent? 12 out of 10? That's 120%. Oh, uh, the same as last one. 9.5. Um, I'm very generous. I gotta give it a nine. Just Ignore because, Sandal, oh, by the way. Twelve. I give it a nine. Those things. Camera bother. guys gotta throw this in there. By the way, there's a Scott Pilgrim game. If you're into that, you might want to check it out. It's cool. It's what's it for? I've never seen it. Uh, Xbox, Xbox for sure. I don't How know about it. Yeah. Huh? Xbox. Anyway. Fifteen seconds. Farewell. Twelve. 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 Nine. One. Twelve. Zero, because I haven't seen it. When I've seen it, I'll probably give it like a nine or. They'll give it a twelve. And bye bye. Superman. Twelve for me. You're still recording. Yeah. You fail. You are still